Hello. I'm still playing with the uh, ribbon thingies and uh, uh, I'm looking all over the place for having a uh, woofers that uh, will fit the build I want to make. I want to make it small so it's gonna be a like kind of a uh, dipole ribbon thingy for a small room. So I use <clears throat> five inches right now and still you know my room if you look around it's not huge but here it extends quite a lot ooh camera is acting weird so I mean it's not really small it's still uh, you know it's not like a bedroom it's like a huge bedroom uh, not bath but bed it's like uh, three and a half meters times ten or something so it's quite it's not that small it just has a lot of base um, so I want to kind of make one speaker that is able to you know play music in a room such like this something like this maybe a little bit bigger I don't know but not by much so that's the goal uh, another thing is I <clears throat> so I tried some of the profile uh, bits so this is a uh, 90 degree cutter, this is a round off bit. I'm probably gonna use the 90 degree for like here so next to the ribbon. Um, and I've looked up some wood and I really like these countertops for like kitchens and such that has like um, a hardwood and it's like 27 millimeters thick so really you know it's heavy it's sturdy it's really nice as a front and I will CNC the whole shebang what you see right now in MDF so it will fit magnets but the only thing is that the woofers the five inches if I have it like this like the woofer on the front it doesn't make it possible to make four of these kind of thingies out of you know a piece of this kind of wood and it's rather expensive at least for me I mean most guys will probably laugh about the price but anyhow uh, I want to make it as cheap as possible as usual so I want to have four frames out of the width of such a plank and that makes it not possible to have the woofer on the front at least not if I use 5 inch or bigger so the option is using the woofer on the side so I can make this whole standing thing is not gonna be wider than like 13 centimeters so really like you know smallish and I think that's a good look but uh, yeah then the woofer has to move to the side and the question is where it is crossed right now does that impose a problem in terms of uh, dispersion I mean it can only do so much but thank god it's playing only low end so we might get away with it so that's what I'm gonna test and I probably could calculate it but still it doesn't give me a good result I might as well measure it I mean why not so the measuring mic is there kind of on axis with the panel or with the ribbon I'm gonna change the ribbon as well but that's not the point of the video so the woofer is underneath there I'm not gonna change this woofer because uh, it's just set up to sound nice the way it, I have it right now so I'm not gonna move it I'm gonna use this other woofer that uses the same driver except it's not the aluminium version but still the response were quite the same and the only interest for me is a uh, difference between having it on axis or like completely off axis so let's see what we can do so this woofer <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it in front of it right now doesn't really matter I mean it's gonna be sitting behind it but because of the woofer here, it, it, this is closer than putting it behind it, so 
So first off, I thought about having the woofer firing this direction. So both firing through the middle. I think that's, I'm not sure if that's great, but anyhow, I will make them mirrored. So if it's not okay, you can just swap the both speakers around. So let's first measure it on axis. So I have to do it like kind of here-ish. I'll just attach the woofer real quick. These banana plugs are a bit spongy. Not a good connection, but anyhow. This is a bigger cabinet than this one, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, a re I'm looking for kind of dispersion of the woofer. So I'll just measure this. Uh, Mike is on axis with the ribbon and I'll leave it at this place. I mean, or I could move it a little bit more on axis. Let's, let's do that. So I'll move it on axis uh, of the woofer, but of course vertically it's not at all on axis because that's the way it's gonna be used. So, um, so let's disable first the ribbon. Mute. And let's disable the crossover so we can see where it goes uh, bananas or or fucks up. So it does something. Uh, low frequencies I cannot gate, so I'm not gonna gate this. I'm, I'm probably... Well, I can gate it. No, I cannot. I cannot just gate it. It's not possible. Oh, wait, maybe like five. Well, looks disgusting, but anyhow. So everything below 300 is completely of no use, but this is without crossover, this is what the woofer does at this position. We're not looking for a flat response, we're looking... Be, well, we're looking for the difference. So, well, that's nice and red. Please color correct that. It's not as red. Come on, white balance. It's not doing it. Anyhow, I'll switch the woofer now. So now it's firing towards the microphone. <coughs> and in the design, I hope I can make, depending on the woofer's capabilities, I'll keep the woofer kind of where it was firing this way, except it's firing that way right now. So like, if you make a line from here to the mic, it's like measuring the side of the woofer, it's like completely off axis. Now there is some reflection here, so that might do something. You should do this outside, but you know. You know. So I'll just measure this once more and see what we got. And then we used some sort of, um, what did we use? Six or something? Um, no, five. Five milliseconds, not five. And then we just compare them. I'll smooth them out a little bit. Like hugely, by the way, to see what the differences are. Well, we can see that Purple, no, bluish is the last one. I'm not looking for the low end. I don't really care much uh, about this right now. I'm looking at the top end. You can quite clearly see that around this point, which is like 1.3K, uh, having it firing towards you, purple line here, is uh, extending the frequency response quite a bit uh, compared to firing it sideways, which will roll off earlier. No surprise there, to be honest. 
no surprise. But what is good, it's doing this around 1.3k. Let's measure the ribbon and see if it already took over at 1.3k. Because if so, that's not a problem. So we look at the ribbon now and I will measure it on axis because otherwise it wouldn't be fair. So I disable the woofer. I mean, you can probably calculate this, but uh, this is another way to do it. I don't want this woofer to be playing at 1.3K, to be honest. So let's measure the response of the ribbon. So I measured something. Uh, let's gate that thing as well. So it's much lower output, as you uh, imagine. Uh, okay, so let's remove the on-axis variant. What was the first measurement? Well, you can see that the ribbon is crossing around here, which is much higher than where it becomes a problem around here. Okay. So I'll leave the woofer as is and try to cross it over as I used it before. I might have to change that a little bit, but let's see what the total response would look if you have a woofer side firing. By the way, the woofer is in a very awkward position right now. So I'll move it to where it should be if I would make it like this. So it would be something like this. Of course, not on the front of the ribbon. But the woofer itself will be like somewhere here, maybe a little bit more like this. I mean, this is no rocket science, but there's no way you can calculate this nicely. Uh, you you might maybe, but by doing it like this, you're you're pretty sure about what the result will be. So I enable the woofer. I didn't change the crossover frequency uh, yet, so let's see what it does. So let's clear this up a little bit. Then you get this without gating. I can gate some, but then probably the low end we cannot read anymore. And we'll end up with this, which is, you know, quite doable still. Of course, there's, there's some weird whoop de doos here in the ribbon. That might be the height, as I said before, Vertical dispersion is quite a problem with such a long ribbon driver. A horizontal though is insanely good. Um, so yeah, but so I'm not looking much about the response here. That's fine with me. I mean, it's <clears throat> there's uh, no use of checking that. By the way, I have a notch filter here a tiny bit, which I probably don't need. Well, at least this close, I don't need it, but these speakers are not meant to be listened to at one meter distance. Uh, but yeah, you can see it, it, it works perfectly fine. It is doable. So I could use a side firing woofer. So that makes me, well, that makes it possible to have the front baffle even smaller, which saves me some wood, which makes it possible to machine the whole frame including the front where the well where not the woofer sits but from a nice kind of wood probably will test it first on some mdf i'll have to glue two pieces together to get the same thickness and then just make one speaker and if that works 
I can then buy some huge sheet of nicely hardwood that is pretty long. So yeah, uh, that's cool to know. So that, well, I can, you know, de design something. Oh, um, there's one, one thing though. Uh, I'm using the Dayton uh, DS135, which is a five inch woofer, I believe. Yes, it is. And um, I think that's, you know, for my room it works, but I think a little bit bigger will be better. The 8 inch is out of the question because the box becomes rather huge, like 30 liters plus, like 40 even. So I might go for a first test with a SB Acoustic 6 inch driver, which still is 1 inch bigger than the one I'm using all the time, which can play loudly enough for my room, perfectly fine. So the 6 inch might give it a little bit more oomph, um, but since 6 inch is quite, well it is a little bit bigger than a 5 inch, um, the response will drop off a little bit earlier, but as, as if you've seen here, uh, you could see it here, this is what a tweeter is doing. That is not really an issue, I think. So yeah, small update. Uh, don't have money to buy new woofers, so that would be... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I don't have money to buy the wood, so... I probably will make an MDF version first and just use a random driver I have laying around. Or buy one 6-inch SB Acoustics. <laughs> Well, you have to do with uh, what you got, so... Anyhow, small test, a very pinkish red image. Sorry about that. White balance is completely off. See you around. Bye-bye.